It's a cold, crisp morning in Bruges, and the town is coming alive. Businesses are getting ready to cater for their customers. There are some sumptuous sugary delights on offer for breakfast. Will they be tempted? In the market square, preparations are well advanced for the upcoming Easter weekend. The market square is the focus of all activity. This is the best place to start to absorb the authentic medieval atmosphere of Bruges, which has charmed tourists from all over the world for centuries. One of the most prominent buildings is the Belfry. The original tower was built in the 13th century and the octagonal top, which slopes slightly, was added 200 years later. This 80 metre tower is so imposing, it can be seen from nearly everywhere in the town. Behind the tower is a covered market area where Flemish cloth was traded. The rich artisans of Bruges built churches and buildings to reflect their affluence. Ornate stonework and stepped gabled roofs are a feature of many houses throughout Bruges. Pedal power is evident everywhere in Bruges. although the cobbled streets do make for a bumpy ride. Here, bikes are stacked, ready for hire. A different kind of power provides another environmentally friendly way of negotiating the narrow streets. The added appeal of Bruges comes from the maze of waterways and canals that interweave amongst the city's thoroughfares. A good place to board a boat is at the Deva. This decorated wall prompts the question, did the UK get third place in the clog dancing World Cup? The Minivota, or Lake of Love, used to be a port. Now it is a delightful lake with a lock keeper's house on its edge. Swans are actually the town's mascot, 
and are as well cared for as anybody who visits this enchanted place.